Hey everybody, Greg with Valkyrie Combat. Today I'm with Guns.com and they've asked me to talk about my everyday carry setup, the equipment that I use, how I have it positioned on my body and things like that. So I'm just gonna give you guys a, a quick rundown of what I have, why I have it, where I have it, and how I access it. So the first thing to start with is the centerpiece of my EDC, which is my firearm, which is carried inside the BOB bag. And BOB stands for Ballistic Off-Body Bag. I already realize I can hear people groaning while they're watching this video. I know that off-body carry in a bag is frowned upon by a ton of people in our industry. Uh, this is probably the most controversial product that I ever post about, that I ever talk about. I always get a lot of naysayers, so I'm, I'm already prepared to hear that when, I, uh, when this video goes up. There's a few benefits to the off-body bag. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is demonstrate my draw from this bag, just so while we're discussing this, you can understand the most important factor of this, which is how quickly I am able to access my weapon. Very simple, very quick, very effective. So as opposed to many other off-body solutions, um, the Bob bag, is very rapid in its deployment, which is very, very crucial. In fact, I've put it on the clock and I'm just as quick coming out of this bag as I am drawing from open carry on my hip. There is no loss in time whatsoever. So immediately the argument of how quickly can you get at it, irrelevant, just as quick as if I was open carrying. The other benefit to this bag, or one of several other benefits to this bag is both of these panels right here are level 3A ballistic panels. So I have some pretty reasonable protection uh, from about here right down below my, my thighs. And I could slip my arm through here and cinch it up so that it's basically like I'm wearing a, a standard uh, ballistic vest, a standard uh, bulletproof vest. So while it is not perfectly covering my entire body, my general rule of thumb is some protection from getting shot is always better than no protection. So ballistic. Where's that? That's the B in the Bob. This is one of the Bs is the, the ballistic. The other benefit to this is the Bob um, doesn't look tactical intentionally. It intentionally does not look tactical. It's not covered in multicam or molly webbing or anything like that. So many people would not assume that there is a firearm inside this bag. Uh, the, only, the only asterisk next to that statement is this. People probably assume that I am carrying a firearm because I look like this and with the tattoos, they probably assume that guy's got a gun, but it's not the bag's fault that I look like that. So the bag is not to blame for people assuming that I have a firearm. Um, in this zipped package behind, behind the back here, I have a vacuum sealed med, pa uh, med kit uh, that contains all the emergency first aid tools necessary to treat everything from common injuries to yeah, up to and including a gunshot wound. And I think it's very, very important for you to carry the tools to fix injuries as well as the weapons to cause injuries. I think that's very, very uh, important. And if you're not, I think you're doing yourself a disservice. Um, the other great thing about the Bob is that it doesn't care what kind of clothing I'm wearing. So if I'm to close this back up real quickly, if it was winter time and I was wearing a parka or a heavy sweatshirt, if I wanted to do things properly, I would train how to access my weapon if I was concealed carrying on my body with various layers of clothing, how to defeat my jacket, how to get that out of the way so I can access my, my firearm. The Bob doesn't care if you're wearing a jacket or a raincoat or a sweatshirt. It goes on top of those items of clothing and my draw is exactly the same every single time regardless of the clothing that I'm wearing. The other benefit is if I'm driving. This thing sits in the same position if I'm sitting in my car driving as it does when I'm standing. So again, drawing from inside my vehicle, same every single time. If I was carrying traditionally on my hip, I would have to potentially defeat my seatbelt, maybe any clothing that got bunched up down there as I'm sitting there. If you're a larger person, and, and you guys know what I'm talking about, if you're larger and you're sitting down, that gun digs into your, your skin. You have to defeat your own body to get your weapon out and deployed. Uh, it's, just, it's just part of the game. So I switched to the Bob about three years ago and I have not looked back ever since. I will very, very rarely carry on my body anymore. It has to be very specific conditions for that to happen. 99% of the time, I am using the incredibly easy to use and fast to deploy Bob. Ballistic, panels, med kit, holster, 
I mean, it really has everything that I need. So I personally carry a customized Glock 19. Uh, it's one of our Beowulf package Glocks. So it has our full series of modifications, including the slide milling, the Cerakoting, the grip mods, the stippling. And both of the magazines that are in this thing are our V mags. So they have the windows cut into the sides, just like 1911 mags have been doing for generations and the stippled base plates. So the Beowulf is the way to go in my book. The rest of my kit, which you know I, I like to keep as concealed as possible for obvious reasons, is either in my pocket, my ankle, or my, my right pocket here. And I'll go over very quickly what I have in those things and then how I access them and get to them. We'll start with my left pocket in which I have a spare magazine for the, the Beowulf. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the gun away really quickly. Uh, what I also have in that pocket is a fixed blade knife. It's kind of beat up, but that's because it's been used a lot. This was made for me by one of our, one of our other uh, team members here at Valkyrie Combat. It was made for me by Austin McGlon. This isn't something that you can buy. This was something that he made for me and then we customized it up just a little bit. But this is what I carry in addition to the magazine in my uh, left pocket. And I'll show you how I carry those things in there. This is a kind of unique item and I'm gonna grab this magazine off the floor. This is the Pocket Shield by Raven Concealment. And you can ignore the chewing on it that my dog did. Um, <laughs> so the Pocket Shield by Raven Concealment was designed by Chris Fry, who, is, uh, who works with our, our partners at Progressive Force Concepts. And the purpose behind the Pocket Shield is this. When inside the pocket, not only does it keep all of my stuff in the same spot so that I can access it the same way every single time, but it also has this uh, profile on the front that keeps a flat surface so that my pocket doesn't have any suspicious bulges or anything in there that, that might look like I, I'm carrying something I shouldn't. So it kind of shields everything. But the most important factor to me is it keeps my stuff in my pocket exactly in the same place every single time. And it's very easy to use. We'll stick it back in there so you can see. So it, again, it keeps that flat profile so that you can't really see or assume that I, that I have everything in there, yet at the same time, everything is accessible because I know where it is every single, single time. Uh, I then I have a backup knife on my right side, which is a Kershaw assisted opening fixed blade. Nothing uh, terribly fancy or crazy there, just a standard fixed blade knife. And then finally, I have a secondary med kit on my ankle, which let me close that again. I don't know if you can, you can see, but it doesn't, it uh, sits flush, flush with the body. So you can't really tell that I'm carrying anything there, nothing suspicious or bulgy, and it's incredibly comfortable. So I'll take this off briefly. This is the ankle med kit that we sell on our website, on the Valkyrie Combat website. This is another product that was designed by our partners at Progressive Force Concepts, and all of the details of its contents are on the website, so I won't go into that, but suffice it to say it's a fully functional uh, individual first aid kit and every, everything that you need. The reason I carry that and the first aid kit inside the bob is that sometimes I go places where it's not permissible to be armed. So literally the only thing I have to do is shed this bag and everything else on me is, is allowed in those environments. Uh, plus the, the, the two is one and one is none rule applies to a lot of different things. First aid kits, flashlights, knives, you know, all, all those things. So, oh, I forgot the last item that I have. It's my flashlight. I carry my flashlight kind of in an unusual place here because my pocket space is already taken up. But I carry my flashlight just on a belt loop uh, hook right here at my appendix. And this is the Elzetta M60 that I have a, it's got a strobe light function on it. Um, and really the only reason that I carry it here in addition to it being a very natural area for me to draw something from because I'm already used to pulling magazines from there from my days conceal carrying, but it's comfortable and uh, it's in a good place for my, for my support hand here. So when you put this whole package back together, one of the important goals in my mind is that you not look overtly tactical when you're concealed carrying. And aside from the fact that I look like a murderer who will probably shoot you, the, the gear itself is very low key and very subtle. Uh, it's not obvious that I'm carrying anything. The bag looks like I probably have my asthma medication in it or uh, you know an iPad or a bird watching binocular or something like that. There's nothing tremendously tactical about that, which I think is very, very important these days that you, if you're gonna conceal carry, that you truly conceal carry as much as possible. So anyhow, there you have it guys. 
Uh, I'd love to hear from you, what you guys carry, how you carry it, why you think I'm dumb, what's wrong with my stupid bag that looks like a purse, you know, whatever. Let's hear it in the comments. Thanks again. Thanks to guns.com. Look forward to talking to you soon. Mm -hmm.